the MMDA has gained a new ferry for its Pasig River Ferry System, or PRFS, following the signing of a cooperation agreement between the agency and new telecommunications player, Dito Telecommunities. MMDA Deputy Chairman Undersecretary Frisco San Juan Jr. said Dito's purchase of the 150-seater Twin Hull Catamaran and subsequent loan of the vessel to the ferry service marked the first time a private company joined the initiative to make Pasig River a viable transportation mode in Metro Manila. This day is uh, a milestone, no? Kasi nga, first private sector to join the initiative, to join the program launched by the Office of the President. Undersecretary San Juan said the vessel would operate within the next weeks after the MMDA completes route planning for the new ferry and other requirements. Purchased from the Nautical Transport Service Incorporated, or NTSI, he said that two more of the same type of vessel would be added to the current fleet of the PRFS after other private entities pledged to help in the revival of the maritime transport network. We want to prove a point that we can revive Pasig River. Okay. That's item number one. Item number two, just, just for your briefing also. Ang nautical transport services, we have six of these ferry boats. Each boat has a capacity of 150 passengers. Meron tayong isa with the complements of Dito Telecommunity, and we will have another two. The vessel, powered by twin diesel engines capable of producing a total of 700 horsepower, is also air-conditioned for the comfort of its passengers, up to 200 with some standing passengers, with free Wi-Fi, a television, and is capable of cruising at 24 knots, which is about 44 kilometers per hour. These boats were being used in the Sydney Harbour uh, ferries. So, and uh, the boats have uh, two Cummins diesel engines each. Both, all are, all are air-conditioned. Each boat will have a TV set, Wi-Fi, uh, and, uh, and other features, no? My, my toilet, uh, my toilet, my, my male and female toilet. However, NTSI Chairman Jose Reyes Jr. said that the vessel would probably cruise at an average of 8 to 12 knots during operation due to terrain limitations and water conditions in Pasig River. The MMDA said that the fare will be announced by the end of January as rides are still free until the 31st.